I've just checked my ketones and they were 1.4 um, and this is five days after I tested that I should have last checked in with you guys which I got 2.3 for my ketones um, but if I didn't put that into that part of the video last Wednesday which was two days after I would have checked in with you if I didn't give it um, I had read 2.3 on my ketone readings and that is like really good. I'm gonna put you down here so I don't have to fucking hold you. We're gonna talk like this. Yeah, so I'd read 2.3 on that on Wednesday if I didn't already show you. Um, and I just did mine then. I probably should have done that on camera too. So it would have been cool. Um, but it was 1.4. Um, and up until Wednesday last week, I had never gotten above 1.1. Um, the first time I had done a reading, I think I got 1.1, and then every time after that, for four weeks, it was always 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, never went above that, and now I've done six weeks. Today is my sixth finished week, uh, which is about a month and a half in. Um, to this and I'd say because of my readings it means that I'm keto adapted I'm not entirely sure um, I'd hope so I just went to the toilet I pooped I haven't drank water really yet because I want to weigh myself see what the difference is from last time I weighed myself um, then I'll take the photos to keep in time with it all so I can know progress and before task gets here I might try and do a quick cardio thing which is a, a, a crossfit cardio type uh, so I might even record that in like slow motion not slow motion fucking I don't know I'll I'll just show you what I do it's you do as much of it as much of it as you can in 20 minutes but if you can, go for 10 sets within that time frame. Like try and do as much as you can in 20 minutes. Otherwise, if you can do it in 20 minutes, you'll do 10 sets. And it's the sets are like nine um, squatted military presses and then 35 um, skipping rope jumps. But I don't have a skipping rope, so I do jumping jacks. But yeah, so we're gonna quickly wait. <sighs> Mm -hmm. It's not even early in the morning. I woke up at 9.30, I went back to sleep, and I woke up at 10.30, and I've been lying in bed for about a half of an hour looking at new cars, because I've been looking for a new car for me to buy, because the car I have now is it's good, but it's just not up to scratch anymore, and I just want to move. And about a half of an hour I've been lying in bed looking at cars again. And I've been looking at cars for like three, four weeks. Like physically looking, like going to see cars. I think I've seen at least a dozen cars, like 12 cars. Actually, that's probably what I would say. It's probably like nine cars. But I've seen a lot of cars in the last couple of weeks. And there's only been like two I've liked the look of. And when I actually saw them, one I didn't get to see because they had sold it before I got there. The other one I liked, but it had a lot of scratches. So I can't really do that. But anyway, we're going to quickly wait. away. I'm going to actually, this is the first time doing it, I'm going to show you as it's being done the way. So, this is what I was last time 110.4. And that. That was what it was last time. This one wasn't much different from the last one. It's a bit, it's, um, I'm about the same as I was before, but I only checked this like four days ago, something like that. So that is what I am currently. Oh, crap. Oh, see. Now I would do a physique check in a mirror because that's apparently a thing a lot of people do when they do these things. So, I'm just going to take photos rather than take a video of me trying to flex, because that's what you need, I don't want to flex. But, I'll take the photos of the standard positions that I've been doing, and they should be coming in three, two. So quickly before I do the whole workout thing that I'm about to show you, because I'm just getting ready for it now. Um, 
I just wanted to show you what I take as supplements, as as well as um, any powders and stuff that I do use, um, considering you never know what people use and some stuff can help others. Uh, I was I was always told that one thing is something that you should always have is magnesium. So that's why I quite literally use like the Mega Magnesium stuff. Um, I just bought them like what? 10 bucks? Something like that. I just got a fuck ton of magnesium tablets. Hold on. They're huge. Look at them. They're fucking huge. Um, as well as I take counting tablets on the days where I know I'm not going to be able to drink a lot of water, um, which I store in this thing. Um, I have straight carnitine powder just pure straight carnitine powder as well as I also use acetyl L carnitine powder right, there we go Look. there we go acetyl L carnitine powder that stuff either or you don't have to have both and you don't necessarily have to take the powder or tablets, just as long as one or the other. They help so much, like so fucking much. Um, I'm using Hydroxy Burn purely because of the fact that it was suggested to me by my friend who does a lot of stuff, and it is 0.5 pounds. Um, which is the most fucking annoying thing about Australians and Americans. Americans get fucking shit up, right? Nutrition panels for Americans. Oh, oh, oh. Nutrition panels for Americans, they go by net carbs. Yes, that's fine. That's fine. But, why not work the fucking net carbs out in the nutrition panel? Australia does that. We literally, I, for the first like two weeks, I didn't know this. And so I was trying to figure out net carbs and shit. And I was eating more than I was meant to. Because I was like, oh, okay, well, the net carbs for this is already, you know, pretty low. And then it started to occur to me, wait, why are things negative? Like, you have certain types of um, nuts, right? There'll be point, or there'll be 1.4 carbs per serving, which is like 30 grams. Um, like, and then they'll have fiber counts of like three per, per 30 grams, like per serving. I was like, wait, so they're negative net carbs? What the fuck? And I've had to look this up because Australians automatically take the fiber out of the carbohydrate count and the net and the carbohydrate count on nutrition panels in Australia is the net carbs. It's already net carbed. And Americans don't do that. So any recipe I get from any fucking country that doesn't do that, I have to physically count the net carbs like that. And it's frustrating because I, I get Australian recipes sometimes and I get American recipes sometimes. So now that's fucking retarded. Why not just work it out in the nutrition panels? Come on. But yeah, that might be a reason why for the first couple of weeks I didn't have as much luck. But, regardless. I mean, in the first couple of weeks I was, because it's perfectly fine to eat up to 30 grams of carbs in a day. Especially at the start, because you're getting used to it. Um, and I thought it was perfectly fine when I was eating, and it wasn't like the, the carbohydrate count was a lot higher than I should have been having. So I fucked up on a lot of that. However, a lot of people eat 50 grams of carbs in a day on this sort of diet, which is retarded. Like, really bad. I mean, some of these people work out a lot, so they burn off the carbs that they've already intake. But the fact is that depending on your working out, is depending on how many carbs and food and all that sort of shit you can have. <coughs> so I've decided that I'm literally going to stick to 20 carbs no matter what, no matter what I work out at. Um, and see how that, and that's been working for me quite well. And that's for the last like three weeks, something like that. Um, but I'm thinking of in a week or two's time to try a therapeutic week, um, which for any of you who do not know is preferably, that therapeutic keto is preferably 90, 92% fat, 8, wait, no, 90% no, fat, 8% fat, 
um, protein and 2% cut off. That is a fucking retarded, like a retarded number to think of, right? At the moment, I'm averaging, I think at the moment I go, um, like 70, what, 74, 74, um, percent fat, 24 percent protein. No. Alright, let's look at my. Because I also use my fitness pal. This shit's amazing to help keep track of my. Um, what is my percentages? What do I. Diary set. Oh, we're going back and set. I'm aiming for 75% fat, 21% protein, and 4% carbohydrate. And that's 21 grams of carbs, 120 grams of protein, and 190 grams of fat. Um, that can easily be changed into um, 100 grams of protein. I don't know. 100, 120 grams of protein is the minimum amount of protein you need to for your body not to go metabolic. I think it is the thing is the word, which is when your body starts to use its stored protein, so its muscle cells for energy. So 120 grams of protein in a day will constantly make sure that you're um, keeping up with your protein amount. Like your body will not use muscle. So I'm like, my goal is the minimum for protein. Um, and then my fat is 190. I could easily put fat into 220 and have it comfortably set there and then just try and make sure that my protein doesn't go too bad. Because um, that's one of the worst parts is if you don't have enough, then your body will start to use your muscle for energy rather than your fat. Um, but yeah, that's my thing for that. Yeah. Actually, this is cool, because I can show you week-to-week -week shit. From my beginning. Ah, don't do this. Um, this is the first week? Yes. Okay, yeah. This is the first week I properly fucking did it. Dead go away. Um. Brightness goes down. So you guys can properly see. Can you properly see that? This is quite literally... I was, at this point in time, I was just going for 30 grams of carbs per day, um, and I was, I wasn't quite eating enough. I was under eating. That is a fair point. And some, some of these days, I didn't actually record what I had because it was right at the very start and it's hard to record everything from the very get-go. So this isn't purely accurate, but this gives an insight into it. So some of these, I didn't, act <clears throat> some of these, I didn't actually record my dinners. Um, so it'll be a bit out of balance. But as you can see, I was aiming for around 70% for fats. Um, my protein was still about 20%. And we'll go next time. Um, this is when I had... So the week before the one I just showed you was when I was also going into 30, 30 grams of carbs. And I wasn't finding any luck. So then I changed over to 20 grams of carbs a day. And this is where I was at. I couldn't get past 65%. Um, on some days I did, and some days I didn't. But it averages out to about this. <clears throat> and I couldn't quite get it. Next week, I tried even harder. I changed macros around a bit. But, again, I base... I, I actually, I think... I actually hit my um my goal for this week's thing on this one, which is the 24th to the 30th. That one actually hit my goals. Like, average. But then also Saturday, I didn't actually record anything. Why didn't I record anything that Saturday? I don't know. Who knows? Anyway. Then, May 1st, I changed it again to a higher amount of protein and fat. Again, I think I was just about at my, um, my goals. I was a bit above my fat count, but I'm trying to get 75% fat instead of 70% fat. 65. I'm trying to actually get to 80% fat consistently now. Because it's a lot harder to go straight to 80% fat straight away. Then again, May 8th to the 14th. Pretty much hit, yeah, because at this point I then changed my protein goal to 120 grams and my fat count to as high as I can get it at any point in time. Like, my fat was literally. As long as I'm hitting at least 70% fat, 
that's where I started at. And then I just inserted anything I could during this time to try and up it as more as I could. So if I was cooking something, I'd make sure to cook it in butter. Or I'd make sure to cook it in oil. And then this is May 15th to the 21st. Um, still hitting the percentage goals, but not quite as much as I'd be hoping for. And then now we're back here. Wait, what's the day? Yeah. So that was last week. I didn't record anything for Monday last week because I think I fasted that day. Okay. Well, I can't find that day. But anyway, so that... That is actually my week-to-week-to-week -to -week -to -week thing. Um, that's everything that I've done. That's my progress so far of the first part of what I did. So that's everything from the first video that I did with you guys. This will be the second video that I did with you guys, and this will probably be a long one, but it's going to be its own video on its own because own video is not little. Um, this will be my week of stuff that I'm doing. So everything that I do in this week towards new stuff on my counts of macros and all that kind of crap. Uh, I've been doing the hit cardio stuff for only a week and a half, but it has helped. I'm, I've, I've realized that when I've trained my legs beforehand, um, for my whole time I have been weight training, I've been training my legs to lift, not for endurance. And I want to get them for endurance. I've always had big legs because I've always been bigger, so I've naturally had to carry more on my legs and they've just naturally gotten bigger. Um, so I want to get them for endurance. That's what I'm aiming for, as well as a lot more high-intense cardio will help with my asthma stuff. So, yeah. But, I know swimming helps more for asthma, working out, but it is winter here. And fuck that. And I don't have a heater pool. Yeah. So I'm going to show you that in a minute. I'm going to get changed out of this shirt. I've changed into um, trackies with my working out underwear on because they're stretchy and more working outable rather than some boxes that let you free flow but yeah we're gonna do that in a second you can you can watch uh, I might put you on a tripod or I'll just put you on the ground somewhere and hopefully you can see but you can do this one at home quite easily if you can do it faster than 20 minutes and do it 10 go right ahead I can't my best for it I did 20 minutes worth and I got seven and a half so I did seven of the squad of military press and six and I did six of the jumping jacks. I couldn't quite get to the seventh of finishing the seventh jumping jack. I, could, I, didn't, I couldn't start it because it was like five seconds left to go. And I just couldn't. So um, that's what I'm aiming to beat. I'll put what it actually is, like the numbers, somewhere like there of it. My best time. Not best time. My best number amount because I haven't beaten the time yet. I haven't done it all in the time. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm about to do. So let's do it. Sorry for the wind, but it won't be windy for long. I use five kilo on each side. They're old as fuck. The bar is about seven and a half kilos, I think. I'm not, not entirely sure. Uh, I just do it over here in my little corner. Um, I have more weight if I ever want to go up higher, but I need something that isn't to just wear my arms out. And I just do it right over here. And yes, that is a shopping trolley. I found it on my way to school one day, and this is like four or five years ago. I was going for a walk um, on, a, on a Saturday. I was heading to the school to then walk back because I only live just about 15 minute walk away from my old school. And I found it, there's a Woolworths trolley, and there was there's literally no Woolworths near where I live. Um, there's one up at Golden Grove, and there's one over in Parabanks. So I found it, took it home, Cut it up, and it's now a really shitty go-kart. Now, I don't know if you can hear that, but it's really copyrighted strike, so regardless. And that hydroxy burn stuff, have it just before a workout, half an hour or an hour beforehand. Or if you just really want a lot more energy in the day, go for it, but it's meant to be used as a pre-workout. Um, it has a lot more, ca this one's a caffeine stimulant one, so it's a bit more energy-filled one. Uh, so it can make you a tiny bit shaky, uh, but I'm a bit shaky in general anyway. It kind of looks like it's almost wanting to spit rain outside. So we're going to try this to as much. We're going to try this as fast as we can, 
um, and hopefully in the next 20 minutes it does not rain because uh, then after this I want to go for a, a walk with Tash when she gets here and then after that I'm going to sign my bank loan for $6,000 to sign my life away. See eight. I think there was eight. I think it was our eight um, squad of military press, which is further than the last time. I'm going to check the recording and make sure. Unless my counting's bad, I get to my eight set of squad of military presses, which is a new record for me, at least. Because I started on the tenth second. I ended on the 10 second after the 20, and I got there quite later on the 20 mark, not the 20 minutes and 10 seconds. So I could have done an extra couple um, star jumps, but no. Nah. You'd think it'd be the, the squatting that takes it out of you. It's the star jumps. It just destroys you. I took more breaks, but each break was less time. Oh, when I first did it, well, the first couple of times I did it, I took long breaks, but I didn't take as many of them. Um, but after each set, it's good to 
give yourself a break even if you don't need it. Otherwise, you're going to fuck up so much. The first two sets, I mean, you're going to take a break from those two, because you've got to...